It's time for another game day challenge with Casey and the Sports Doctor. Now, if you remember a few years ago, the very first game day challenge was me trying to hit the great pitcher Caroline Tabor. Well, I've decided I couldn't beat her, so I'm going to join the ranks of softball pitchers. So with me is Stonington High School senior Trinity Lennon, and she's going to teach me how to pitch a softball. And the sports doctor, well, he's around here somewhere learning how to play the game of softball with the Stonington High School Bears. And he's already tired. But sports doctor, you're going to have to try to hit against me. You ready? All right, so the easiest thing to do is to throw a fastball. Okay. So all you got to do is find this smiley face right here, and you're going to put your hand right here to make a smiley face. Mm -hmm. And that's your grip. OK. All right. How you, how you hold it? Yep, I'm ready. I have a smiley face. You have to make a smile. You gotta go up. Make a K. Make a K. So I gotta go like this. Yeah. And what did I do? You went like this. So I gotta make a full circle. You have to make a full circle, like you're like. So I can't short arm it. You gotta go up. You gotta get open. So yeah. like you're like facing the dugout. Yep. You can. Yeah. And we're gonna go through. Oh, okay. All right. So how's that set? Yeah. I, it went, thank you. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for, a little encouragement today. Well, basically through the whole day, he was using like a baseball pitch <laughs> and a softball pitch in one. Oh. So I didn't think it was going to go that well. Uh, do you think you're ready to go to the mound? Yeah, let's get out to the mound. So you rock back. Yeah, I did that. I rock forward. Yeah. I come up like this. OK. Open. Yeah, that's the part. That's the part where I lose. That's, yeah. So that when I turn here, I'm still, I'm still here. And that way I can get that whip. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. It's not pretty, but it's a strike. It wasn't that bad. I only have one bruise on my leg from him. I figured I'd have many more. Moving on, show me another pitch here. Let's do the curveball. So you're going to have two, two, and then one in the middle. Mm -hmm. Your thumb and your pinky just like on mm -hmm. the sides. Hold your glove right here mm -hmm. and just go like that. So this might take a couple. Case. Curve it the other way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no one likes a sassy catcher. He's like, I've been playing baseball for 40 years, so he's all used to that movement, but it's not the same movement, and he had to get used to that. So I was like, this is not going to be good. <laughs> Maybe not the curveball. Let's see the changeup. Remember this grip I just showed you? Yeah. Trip? You're just going to slide this finger over. Mm -hmm. So as I'm coming here, I actually flip my wrist backwards and spin it up. And spin it backwards. Yep. All right. Let's see. Yeah. It's faster. I'm not a pitcher and I know that's not how it's supposed to be thrown. <laughs> Although he does get it over he does get it over the plate, which is better than most 40-year-old men. What I always do with change-ups because they're like the, I think the hardest pitch to hit to recognize it. You think fastball and then you have to react to the changeup. Megan's the sports doctor. Now I don't want to give anything away, but I have Trinity and we have a secret weapon. All right, sports doctor, are you ready? All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, just missed, just missed. Oh, Jesus. Get that in the air. Lady. One pitch, one out. <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect. You do realize that pitch was on my head. Seeing as warm ups, I knew I had to get up in the box, um, but he did pretty well. I'm not going to lie, like first time pitching, that's hard. Oh, that's a nice pitch. Especially if he plays baseball, he's not used to it. Yeah, it's my defense! He did pretty well. He like got the change going a little bit, a couple of them, so um, I mean, he picked it up pretty quickly. Wow. Fairness, wind's blowing out. Sun got in my left fielder's eyes. It's all, you know, it's all good. Uh, he got a few down the plate, which was good. Some not near the batter, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. Great rep. Good rep. Not bad though. That's pretty good. I'm actually surprised I stayed back. He was very slow, lots of meatballs, but other than that, he was pretty good. What's up there? Oh. 
I lost it in the sun. I, I lost it, Casey, I lost it in the sun. Where's Doctor? Did the sun go behind a cloud or something? How come she caught it? He was a very good student. He really tried his best, but it's hard to like teach someone something new when they've been doing baseball. Like he was a baseball player, so he kept doing that baseball motion. He like made a hybrid of baseball and softball pitching. Nice catch. But somehow he got across the plate and he was he learned very quickly. I got it! My ball! Well, another successful game day challenge. Why was it successful? Because I'm walking out of here on my own two feet today. So is the catcher. <laughs> Special thanks, as always, to the Stonington High School girls softball team. I got Trinity Lennon as my pitching instructor. And I have to say, the fact that I didn't get taken out of the yard today is a credit to your tutelage. I got to tell you, these girls are tough. I'm not talking about just the way they play they feel. The, the yapping that goes on. <laughs> Man, but you know, again, you sit at home and you think to yourself, oh, softball, how hard can that be? It's a big ball and uh-uh. These girls can play. The ball comes in, it moves all over the place, and it's not easy. And if you don't believe me, go find your neighborhood softball star. You grab a bat and see how you do against these girls because they are fierce athletes and rock stars. So softball isn't for the big guys like me playing on the weekends thinking that it's easy. This is softball played at its highest level. These girls know what they're doing. So thank you to Stonington High School. I'm going to walk out of here on my own two feet. Game day challenge, as always, if you want me and the sports doctor to come to you and take you on in your sport, we're ready. <laughs>